Hello, everybody. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Wednesday's quiz. Quiz number five. Um, so the picture round is up already. We'll leave it on for like one or more, one or two more minutes. Um, but it will go back on again at the halfway point. This week's is famous landmark. Thank you for the suggestion to my mum for this one. She yeah. suggested landmarks from different places, so we've took that and run with it. And um, there is a bonus point available again this week for the picture round, and it is which is the odd one out and why. Are we, do we need to know why? I presume we need well, to know can, why. They can the tell us why. They can tell us why. Right. We can maybe mention oh, it or drop a hint at the halfway. I mean, I know why. So oh, they don't need, they don't right, need okay, to tell sorry. me. Like, I'm <laughs> aware lol, of it. <laughs> lol. I know why. I know why it's all because I've got the pictures of Tinterweb. Uh, so team names, please. Let us know your team names. We think we've got about 11 or 12 teams playing tonight. Hello. Uh, do you need to adjust that camera? Uh, yes. Uh, <laughs> That's so probably what people want to see. This is why people are here. <laughs> No one's happy with that. I need to move the microphone now. <laughs> Start already. Right, Please, my... right, are you um, happy? Uh, no, not really. I look really uh, tall and weird. Are you deals here? We're miserable. We are oh, now. Well, I'm now. You are. You always are. I'm miserable, I'm just honest. Um, um, are you, are you happy dad... with the camera angle? Because you're, like, you're, you're, you're kind of off the screen, yeah? Alright, well, they come yeah. um, Okay. Sort of, I, love I mean, it's not going to get much better, to be fair, so. Okay. Okay. Um, Tracy's on. Um, Dan Tanya are on. Right, mid. So, team names, please. We've do, got do, um, Tequila Mockingbird, Beauty Who's and that? the Quiz Beast. That's Des and Sheena, because they haven't got Phoebe or Zander tonight. Ooh. Um, Dale, no, Dale's not calling us miserable git. That's his team name. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay, fair enough. Oh, Karen's not miserable. Um, and the itchies. Your dad. <laughs> um, <laughs> Faith and James. I'm just going to put uh, Peroni down for them because I've changed about Peroni, it. Yeah. Yeah, something about Peroni, yeah. Something about Have we got everyone in? Is there anyone missing? Tammy and Kyle here? Tammy, West Dates. <laughs> Combination. Yeah. I like it. West Dates. And uh, Team useless. Um, as I says, that the sound quality improvement has is noticeable. Well worth seventy pounds spent on a microphone, then, isn't it? Lucy, it wasn't. Hey, look. <laughs> for a free quiz that we're going to be doing for a couple more weeks. It wasn't seventy pounds. I've been using it for work. <laughs> it's because everybody needs a radio DJ esque microphone for yeah, but everyone, working. Everyone needs to hear IT how beautiful specialist. my voice is. It's, it's there was important. nothing wrong with that. How would you know? <sighs> right, let's. Um, everybody's here, I think. So um, we'll move on to uh, round one, shall we? Well, you skipped a slide, so oh. this is why I am in charge of the presentation. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm not pressing any buttons. Pen and paper, sense of humour, at least four brain cells. Uh, difficulty wise, I think um, a little bit easier than last week, possibly. Uh, sorry, than um, Saturday's. I'm not sure. Six question rounds, one picture round. As I say, the picture round will go up again at the halfway point with answers right at the end. Write the answers down as you go. Um, we'll give you the answers at the end of each round and let us know your scores in the chat, please. Get involved, let us know. Don't worry if you get the lowest score. It's not important. It's not about the winning because I'm not well, taking Well, not tonight part. it's not, but on Saturday. So Saturday's quiz this week will be Des. And for those of you who don't know Des, it's Duncan's brother-in-law. It's his 40th birthday this weekend, so Saturday will be a Des quiz extravaganza. It will be themed to an extent, but not around Des specific questions, um, just gener generic questions. And uh, we will have a prize on Saturday, and everybody will be three sheets to the wind. So that will be Saturday's quiz, won't it? That's a good, that's a good combination for all, especially since Sunday is my lie-in week. Right, anyway, I, I stopped listening after about <laughs> four minutes of, or whatever that was. Uh, okay, round one, general knowledge. Um, either good general... Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Des says bog off, by the way. Buy one, get one free on Des quiz. Two Des quizzes. 
Moving actually, very swift. Actually, one of problem. Des's presents was Bogger. Right, fascinating. Question one: What is the name of writer Arthur Conan Doyle's famous fictional detective? I'm just going to Google the answer to this one quickly, <laughs> just to make sure. If anybody wants a Dare's mask sent out in the post, ready for Saturday, please let me know. Just PM us your address and we will print one and send one to you. Yeah, I think the answer is correct, so that's good. What is the name of writer Arthur Conan Doyle's famous fictional detective? Question two. Marble is formed by the metamorphosis of which rock? It's an, an anagram. anagram. It's there an is, anagram. It's an anagram. You missed that. You, you got to tell people. Otherwise, they'll be thinking, what's 10 blues? I mean, it says anagram. <laughs> right next Well, I to didn't it. say it. And I'm sitting right in front of the screen. <laughs> but you're, you're not the like bar. You're not the level <laughs> of ability of this audience. I, no. Marble is formed by the metamorphosis of which rock? Question three. According to the Bible, what was the name of the town which was the birthplace of Jesus Christ? We, we had some disagreement about this. We didn't have we a did. disagreement about it. I said it was one place, you said it was a different place. And you, you said your you, place is wrong, my place is right. And I said, no, no, no. You said it was Paris? No, <laughs> it wasn't Vegas, like what you said. <laughs> Sorry, it's not only as Paris. No, but I'd already made the joke. You know what I mean? You only never mind. According to the Bible, what was the name of the town which was the birthplace of Jesus Christ? Superstar. I knew, you know what? I knew you were gonna say that. I was gonna do it as well, but I stopped myself. I have no self-control. Dale says we need to slow down a bit. Sorry, Dale. Really? I was I was leaving them for a little while. But should we talk is, about the tadpoles? He is old They've now. got legs. No, no. The tadpoles have got legs. Marvolo, Bash, Dash, and Ferdinand all have legs. Question four. What are dried plums called? <laughs> Dale's now saying hurry up. <laughs> Banter. Why is he saying that? It's... I just remember there's one missing on there. What are dried plums called? Um, Finns, I'll take the Finnish answer. In Finnish? That's what I mean, yeah. I'll take the answer in Finnish. Have you been practising your Finnish? I don't need to practice my Finnish. Ask them. They always say that I'm amazing. Ish. What are dried plums called? Question five. According to Napoleon... What does an army march on? Legs. Well, you, you can't actually say that because that could be the answer. <laughs> right. The ground. That that could also be the answer. Will you just stop? I'm trying to think of another answer, but I can't think of anything. Shh. According to Napoleon. What does an army march on? Mm -hmm. As I says that, I do need a practice, but I just think that's quite offensive. You probably just didn't get me. You know what's Who's missing it? from your questions? You know, interesting facts. Tindua. There are no interesting facts. Um, yeah, because I'm trying to do the audience a favour. Question first. six. In the USA, what does the I stand for in CIA? <laughs> no, I was gonna I was gonna say something about Homeland and the Princess Bride, but I uh, realised that ninety nine percent of the audience. And you you already mentioned this anyway for the in the one of the quizzes yeah, when you have, had the Princess Bride. We have a bigger question. we have a bigger audience oh, now. That was quiz one. That was back in, in quiz one. In the USA, what does the I stand for in CIA? Mm -hmm. Question seven. Name the third known major planet from the major sun. Major planet? <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't resist. It's In like general knowledge. General knowledge, major planet. Because 
the high rank, the high ranks of the army, and you've got to salute them. <laughs> I think you're worse than last week. Name the third known major planet from the sun in our solar system. Third rock from the sun, if you will. Question eight. What were the initials of the Soviet secret police? What were the initials of the Soviet secret police? Question nine. How many stomachs does a cow have? That was the joke. I don't think it's a joke, I think it's just me saying major such and such and general knowledge. Think ah, right, it. okay, so Tanya was trying to explain why well, you I were the only person I had my dad one. written all over it, that one. How many stomachs, now Tanya, how many stomachs does a cow have? And the last question in the general knowledge round, according to the proverb, what does the devil make work for? That's a reasonably easy introduction to the quiz, I think. Not as easy as last week's. What are you doing with your head? According to the proverb, what does the devil make work for? What are you doing? I'm drawing a flower. Answers. <laughs> the name of Arthur Conan, Arthur Conan Doyle's famous fictional detective, that's easy for you to say, is Sherlock Holmes. <coughs> Limestone is um, the answer to question two. I, got I, am, I don't know what's going on here today. I've lost the ability to talk. According to the Bible, the name of the town the name of the birthplace of Jesus Christ was Bethlehem. Dried plums are prunes. Napoleon said that armies <laughs> march on their stomachs. I think that their feet are the ground. No, but it was, could have been an answer. Intelligence is the I in CIA. Earth is the third known major planet from the sun. KG, KGB with the initials of the Soviet secret police. What does it stand for? Um, something about K, G and a B. Cows have four stomachs. Really researched. And according to the proverb, the devil makes work for idle hands. That is the end of round one. Let us know how you did for scores, please. Um, as I said, there's too few interesting facts this round. I agree. What yeah. is this now? I mean, you don't even know what KJB stands for? Yeah. You've got, to, you've got to do your research when you're writing quiz questions. It's you know, Let quiz us know one how one you one did, Ten for me, Dad and Tanya. Dale and Karen got eight. So eight for Dale and Karen. You know, if, if Dale's managed to get eight there. It might be Karen, to be fair. Tracy. What's Tracy's team Ten then? for the Wrinkleys. My states. Mum got four, but then she's trying to justify it by saying because she's answering them on her own at the moment. Ah, uh, no, Gary. You must be in the kitchen now. Ten out of ten for the nerds. Finn's got five. Good effort. And your round. My round. Um. Round two. Okay, so we have another round of who said that this week. Um, it's slightly different to the last one that we did. But yeah, the same kind of thing applies. Um, we're going to give you the context each time we read a question and then you've just got to tell us who said it, fictional or otherwise. Okay, so question one. Which famous movie character said do or do not 
there is no try. Do you know the answer to this? I do. Do you know the answer to this because I told you the answer to this or would you have got the answer to this? No, I knew the answer to this. Got well, some interesting facts about this, haven't we? When we'll come to the answers. Oh, it's my round. <laughs> Which famous movie character said, do or do not, there is no try? Do you think that's the right amount of time for Dale? Okay. Question two. Which book begins with the line, Christmas won't be Christmas without any presents? Interesting fact. <laughs> This book was actually made into a movie very, very recently. It's been made into a movie countless times, but a, a bigger movie with bigger names quite recently. That's good. <laughs> Thank you. Question two. Which book begins with the line, Christmas won't be Christmas without any presents? Can Question you tell three. Me some more about curtains? Well, I was all currently drawn, floor length, slightly, well, slightly below. Question point. three. Okay, question three. Which civil rights activist had a famous speech that began with the words, I have a dream? That sounded like your problem. It did, didn't it? It was the chair, I promise. Which civil rights activist had a right, <laughs> had a famous speech that began with the words, I have a dream? I actually, you probably shouldn't admit this, thought this was someone else before I did the research. Unsurprised. You're not very good at quizzes, are you? No, I'm quite on so, some quizzes. If you mm. give me a Harry Potter quiz, yeah, that's, that's nice. Star Wars quiz I did the other night. I got 20 I, years I, I beat you in a Harry Potter quiz. I, right, and then how many times did I beat you after that? Question four. Ugh. Question True four. True or false, I beat you in a Harry Potter quiz. <laughs> True or false, I beat you many more times than that one time you lost. You won. <laughs> Question four. The words Vorsprung Dirch Technik are most associated with which type of car? I know this one. Boys on. Boys on. That's the that question, isn't it? The words Vorsprung, Deutsch, Technik are most associated with which type of car? Moving on, question five. Whoa, whoa, that was too If you know, you know it. No, that was too quick. They may take our lives, but they'll never take well, our fame. Because it'll you either be <laughs> a massive giveaway or, or it'll be really Wildly racist. When people <laughs> sit there going, don't. Oh, I don't oh, remember them saying that in Slumdog Millionaire. <laughs> they may take our lives, but they'll never take our freedom. Is a famous quote from which 1995 movie? I had a chemistry teacher who looked like the guy who said this. Fascinating. Right, I'm not going to press any buttons, so you can then decide what is the most appropriate amount of time before we move on. I'll give you the number. No bleeding land with me. Really no, go, 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 go. Question oh, six. Feck, arse, drink, and girl are words commonly associated with which legendary British TV show? One of the best <laughs> of all time. Ooh, uh, another one. Tammy's saying slow down as well. Well, slow down. That's a few people now who have said that. Too Especially when I talk yeah. quick anyway, you know. Yeah. I'm trying to slow you down. Feck arse, drink and girls are words commonly associated with which legendary British TV show? We're a bit like one of the couples on that TV show, don't we think? I don't know how no, they do. The difference is though, like they're publicly Well, the other nice. way? Yeah. We're well, not actually, no, no we're both. I'm not, no. <laughs> publicly arguing and privately arguing. Yeah. Feck arse, drink and girls are words commonly associated with which legendary British TV show? Question seven. We did not come to fear the future. We came oh. here to shape it. I thought you QA'd this. I didn't, I didn't get a chance. Is a quote by which former US president? Can we correct this? No, we can't do that live. I'll read it correctly. We did not come to fear the future. We came here to shape it. Ignore the spelling error. That was my fault. Is a quote by well, which mine, former US president? No, you just give the answers and we live on it. Yeah, but well, at least I don't make spelling mistakes. Yeah, but I, like did this really, I did this really quickly. I think. Yeah, you tell. <laughs> I oranged it. And no, it. I oranged it. I oranged my most recent one. Oh, well done. Carry on. Question eight. 
You have brains in your head, you have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself any direction you choose, is a quote by which famous children's author? Right, this one's going to have to stay on for a while because this is quite a lengthy question. And, yeah, that's all actually. Mm -hmm. That's fair enough. You have brains in your head, you have feet in your shoes, you can steer yourself any direction you choose. Spaghetti bolognese from the freezer. Well, made, but from the freezer. Is that okay? I'm going to sneeze. Hang on. In my elbow. <laughs> no. I managed to mute one of them, I think. But then the one at the end was really loud. And you're right next to the microphone, so well done. Money well spent then, really. Be, I mean, again, that makes you sense. You have brains. Next time I'll not, I'll not purchase head. any kind of equipment in case you need to sneeze. You have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself any direction you choose, is a quote by which famous children's author. Question nine. Which retro wrestler, so retro being the key word here, was famous for saying, you better eat your vitamins and say your prayers? He's not a wrestler anymore. I think he's got a series of... He's about 104. Yeah, but he's got like, you know, don't, other, other franchises, shall yeah, we say. Just, just other franchises, you know, he's dipped his finger in other pies. Which you've also <laughs> made it. You've also narrowed it now because you've said he. Oh, well, it's always going to be he. Feel, um, don't get me started on female wrestling. Question nine: Which wrestler, retro wrestler, was famous for saying, "You better eat your vitamins and say your prayers." We've also got uh, the wrong your for. <laughs> oh my life. And that's that's not See, a typo, Lucy. No, but to be fair, right? I copy and pasted this quote when I googled famous wrestling quotes. I copy and pasted it, so that's not my mistake. Whereas well, my mistake for not checking it, but it's not my grammatical error, shall we say? Question ten: <laughs> Which product oh, <laughs> claims to do exactly what it says on the tin? Now I don't know if this is the same in Finland. I don't think I don't think Finland will have this. Um... So how do they do stuff? This product. Well, there's more than just that product for that purpose. Which sorry, product? Sorry, Finns. <laughs> which so <laughs> which right, product claims to do exactly what it says on the tin? So that is all ten questions for the who said that round. We can put the questions back up before we read the answers in a list. I'm not going to press any buttons till we get wrong. No, you're not. Especially after those errors. I know well, one of the errors was my doing. The other one was just not checking properly because it was a copy and paste of quote. I'd be mortified if I had the wrong your on one of my rounds. Right. Anyway. So have a quick look, um, because we have had you know a couple of people saying that we went through that round quite quickly. So have a look through the questions, see if there's anything you want to change or add in, or if you missed any, and then I'll go through the answers in a second. You know what I like hearing? I like hearing what other people are having for dinner. So if you want to tell us what you had for dinner or what you are having for dinner, Message I, Lucy privately. I would be really interested to know. I made a really good katsu curry the other night. Right, I think you can get on the answers now. Which famous movie character said, do or do not, there is no try? It was Yoda. Uh, if you got that wrong, feel, I did, I feel free to never speak to me again. Which book begins with the line, Christmas won't be Christmas without any presents. That book was Little Women and it was Joe who said that. Which civil rights activist had a famous speech that began with the words, I have a dream. Now, if you put Nelson Mandela, you'd be wrong, like me. It was, Martin Luther, it was, it was oh. Martin Luther King. <laughs> the words, I think, from, just, I think that's just a, like a subconscious racism on your part. I don't know, I just, I've always, I'm always thinking about Nelson Mandela. <laughs> Yeah, me too. <laughs> the words Vorsprung and Dirt Technik are most associated with which type of car? It's Audi. I think it's Dirk, by the way. Dirt. Vorsprung, Dirt. Uh, whatever. Right. Yeah. They may take our lives, but they'll never take our freedom, is a famous so quote <laughs> from Braveheart. <laughs> Feck, arse. Drink and girls. Oh my <laughs> oh, <weird. Next> sense, <laughs> okay. Commonly associated Post with past. Father oh, right, Ted. <laughs> we did not come to fear the future. We come here to shape it. Here's <laughs> 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 a, so a quote. Is a quote by Barack 
bomber. Oh my god, do we miss him now? You have brains in your head, you have feet in your shoes, you can steer yourself any direction you choose. Was Dr. Zeus? You should be able to tell by the rhyming couplets of Dr. Zeus. Terrible, I really, really Oh, dislike we stopped whining books. about my questions. No, it's just those books. Not, not Only because you, you hate books. the length of the cat and the hat when Harry asks. It's just, no, it's just weird. It's just so weird. Which ref ball wrestler was famous for saying, you better eat your... Oh, maybe I didn't copy and paste it because I put it right there. No, you, you, what, no, you oh, no, I haven't. No, I'm right. That was something the other your. You, you better you eat your vinegar and eat your prayers. It was Phil Colgan. He's now got reality shows and stuff behind him, so he's probably still No, worried. no one can. No one cares because they're too busy being annoyed about the... I know, but I, I would be. I'd be the first to jump on that. Would so you? Feel free. You? Yeah, feel free. Rinse knows. away. Which product claims to do exactly what it says on the tin? It is Ron Seal. By the way, interesting fact about Ron Seal. Ron Seal. Ron Seal. Ron Seal. <laughs> does it shite do exactly what it Language. says on the tin? No, but it doesn't. Family friendly. You just need to have, well, we've got no children tonight. No, it doesn't matter. We have people that don't swear. You just need to look at our deck in to see that it, it does not do anything at apply, all. I don't think you apply that right. I'd work um, off. Anyway, there are the answers for round two. Let us know how you did. My dad had deviled sausages tonight again. Disgusting. Is that that thing that Alison had at the last oh, party we were Faith, at? Faith, got, Faith and James got ten there. And uh, Hang on, I want she to see. only got Right, so my dad's having a curry. What I want to know, um, Dad and Tanya, is it a takeaway curry, a microwave curry, a homemade curry, or another curry? That's what I want to know. I do, I want to know. You can tell me what else. I think I'd do Saturday on my own. Um, <laughs> Ooh, ma'am, are you still answering them yourself? Because seven is amazing. Yeah. Tracy and the Finns four, hadn't five. heard of uh, Ron Seal. I'm sorry, Finns. It's a was, blessing. It's it a blessing in disguise. I wasn't impressed with the deck and stuff. Another, um, like terrible round. Seven for the nerds. Um, Claire says they would have had nine if Paul had listened to me on questions four and seven. What did Paul oh, put I'm for dis- number I'm four? Dis- I'm disappointed that. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm disappointed <laughs> with that, to be honest. How even Paul? Um, okay, so round three. Um, sport. Yeah, Paul. I'm um, disappointed Paul. with the lack of replies about what people are having for their dinner, mate. I'm so sorry, everyone. At one point, this was funny, but Missy seems to have lost her way. Anyway, question one. For which sport is Lennox Lewis famous? It's a bit of a mixed round, this sport round. There's a few reasonably straightforward questions, um, but there is, I think, two in there that are a little bit more complex. There are twins in my year group at school called Lennox and Lewis. Claire made homemade burgers tonight. Oh, nice. nice. Question one. For which sport is Lennox Lewis famous? Ooh, past semi balls for Will. Sam and Wellington for Faith and James. Question two. In which sport are there Madisons and Pursuits? Dale says, or Karen says, uh, they had quails, eggs with caviar. I think that might be a joke. I don't know, they like, probably got quails in a garden. Well, no, 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 <laughs> no, no, Dale, he's probably had beans on toast. Was that always salmon? Everyone's having salmon and I thought we haven't had salmon in ages, have okay. we? Uh, no, been a while. In which sport are there Madisons and Pursuits? At the break, should we just put up the live action movies of um, Thomas the Tank Engine that I made today? Oh, uh, no. Did you notice that nobody replied to Yeah, I did. I was, I was <laughs> crying silently that Cousins. nobody replied to any of those messages. Question three. <laughs> How wide is an ice hockey goal? Not a field hockey goal, an ice hockey goal. They are different sizes, allegedly. A wildly unpopular sport in this country, wouldn't you agree? 60 inch. 150 centimetres, 72 inches, 180 centimetres, or 90 inches, 225 centimetres. Adele's having tuna pasta for her dinner tonight. There you oh, go, Lizzie. tuna pasta, that's another thing we haven't had for ages. 
No, I'm a massive fan of tuna. Oh, I love the tuna pasta. I enjoy it in a sandwich, not so much. We haven't pasta. had tuna. We've got quite a bit of tuna in our house, but we haven't had tuna. Oh, let's have tuna sandwiches for lunch tomorrow. Oh, no, no, I can't do a tuna sandwich. I can do a tuna panini. Tuna sandwich. Probably doing a sandwich. With um, salad cream? No. Or mayonnaise and salt, obviously. No. Question three. How wide is an ice hockey goal? 60 inches, 72 inches, or 90 inches? I bet 95% of people are just guessing this answer, by the way. That's okay. That's why I made it multiple choice. Question four. In which sport does the scoring begin at 15? Hmm. <laughs> um, oh, pork inside a sauce for me, man. Oh, yeah, that sounds nice. That sounds snazzy, doesn't it? What do we have? What was our pork the other night? I did a, some kind of spice rub for it. That was quite nice, wasn't it? Bang average. Nice. Um, I had something to say there. After this uh, whole lockdown thing is over, we should have like a quiz reunion in a bar. Yeah, we could. We could. Uh, we could do everyone who's quiz part just for ourselves. In, everyone who's partook in the quiz, we should meet up in the bar. That would be great. Wearing um, seriously fresh t-shirts. Can you not come? Oh. Question four: In which sport does the scoring begin at fifteen? Question five: How many players are there in a netball team? This is specifically kind of on the field, not roster, or available substitutes or anything like that. Just the number of players on the field. I used 13. to play wing attack at school. I know, you mentioned this in a previous quiz as well. The first quiz. Tell, tell, like so tell, tell me more about wing no, attack. No, I do, I do think, right, also I think we should maybe advertise for a social media assistant, because I think we struggle to keep up on the, the volume of messages between I'm around. managing perfectly well. I'm, I'm, I'm like, Quite a few in red. How many players are there in a netball team? What time does Phoebe go to bed? She would be good at this. I don't know. My sister played netball. I can't remember. No, I'm not netball. I'm about social media manager. Oh, I don't. I think she's too young to use social media. Question six: In golf, what is the term for two over par? Over par, bad golfer. I thought I haven't seen the team was. Pretty standard for me, this <laughs> comment. In golf, what is the term for two over par? And we finished Karen this round. Karen was a wing attack as well. Was she? Must uh... be all you midgets together. <laughs> midgets on wing attack. Sorry, Karen. You know that's my way, not Lucy Swan. I don't think. I don't, I don't know, is she? I don't know. Nothing wrong with being She always wears high heels to play table tennis in, so I don't, I don't know. No, she doesn't. <laughs> Remember um, when Paul said that he was going back to table tennis? Do you think we should announce that live so he gets pressured <laughs> into doing it? Question seven. We'll leave this one on for a little while. Typically, excluding this year, which has been postponed because of coronavirus, and three other exceptions, what month is 24 hours of Le Mans scheduled? Tanya was wing attack as well. Must be and, and sometimes centre. What's, what's how tall is Tanya? Like four foot one? Tanya's five foot, I think same as, same as me, five foot. Ah, uh, technically I'm five foot point zero not, nine. I am, I am almost five, five one, foot. I am almost if, five one. If Lucy stands up, she'll Our heels are work because it makes me feel like I've got more authority. But... Oh, this is an interesting, interesting question. I know the answer already. Who's the tallest person currently partaking in the quiz? Well, that's not fair because well, I only know because you told me and mm. not everybody knows each other. Question seven. Well, we'll talk about that in a second. Your dad's quite tall. T not that tall. Typically, <laughs> excluding this year and on three other occasions, what month is 24 hours of Le Mans scheduled? Le I don't, I don't even know what that means. What month does it usually take place in? Because it's an annual event. Which what? month does it usually take? What? That might as well be written in Sanskrit. Like, I, honestly, I'm, not, I'm not going to tell you anymore because it's a good one. That's a really hard question. Don't don't beat yourself up if you don't get that right because I would not have a clue. Question eight. How many athletes are there in an Olympic relay team? Interesting fact. I got this no one wrong as well. <laughs> word of a lie. Lucy's answer to this was just as many 
people right. that turn up. Hang on. I went to Kenton school. So when the North no, no, Koreans no. turn up, it's <laughs> 17 people. They're <laughs> just, just go not going to do very well. Wait, when I, I didn't even know what a relay is. Well, in, uh, in PE, we have a stick, right? And just however many people are in the class, they would divide it by however many people there was enough space for. A lot of people used to write their own sick knocks. No, like, sick knocks. Sick <laughs> How many athletes are there in an Olympic relay team? The worrying thing is, this is the most sober she's been all week. Sick notes. I used to forge my mum's signature on my PE signal to say that I couldn't do it because I, the teacher was horrible. PE in school was horrible. I loved it. Well, no, actually, I hate PE because PE was, um, we had PE in games. Did you have a swimming pool at your school? We did. It was rank. And you used to yeah. make you go in and your jar Question nine. In which Olympic event would the competitor use ribbons and hoops? Uh, it needs to be the specific answer, this please. Um, not the vague answer. As I reckon that that would be so fun to watch. I think he might be talking about the North Koreans and 19 of them <laughs> lining up to do the relay. <laughs> Yeah, that would be quite interesting. Pass the nuke. That's racist. Oh my god, yeah. yeah that's you, you told me off for being racist with my it's bad accent. Racist. It's a little racist. You can't just be casually racist on YouTube. In yeah, which wrong? Olympic event would the competitor use ribbons and hoops? Hoops. Question 10. In which sport might you see a Chinaman? 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 Chinaman. Chinaman. And a maiden. Chinaman. 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 Is it a Chinaman or is it a Chinaman? Chinaman. Chinaman. Chinaman sounds like plural. Chinaman. Chinaman. In which sport might you see a Chinaman and a maiden? Do you think we should change sport next week and do something different? Sports, I've been begging you no, for sports, weeks on end to win. I'm not changing my rounds. Quidditch questions. To many people, Quidditch is a legitimate sport. Look at that time I only formed that team at uni. Not my uni, but a random uni. You didn't form it. You asked to join it, didn't you? No, no. I tried to form it because I'd already missed the boat on joining one because it had already passed the season. This is this is true, by the way. Lucy genuinely <laughs> tried to be involved with a, a real life Quidditch. Yeah, team. because the Quidditch World Cup was held at our local university, Northumbria University, held the Quidditch World Cup last year. No joke. The sport that Lennox Lewis is famous for is boxing. In which sport are there Madisons and pursuits? That would be cycling. Dale, please tell me you've got that one right. And James, James should get that one. An ice hockey goal is seventy-two inches wide. Never in a million years. Honestly, I would never have got that ever. I mean, it was multiple choice, so no. But even you even thirty-three point uh, three recurring chance. That's a really hard question. Tennis is the sport in which scoring begins at fifteen. There are seven outfield players on a netball team. Sorry, on the field, not outfield. Seven on the field players in a netball team. The golf term for two of a part is a double bogey. <laughs> June is the month in which the 24 hours of Le Mans race, it's a car race, is scheduled. Every single year apart from the three exceptions and this year because of Corona. There are four athletes in an Olympic relay team. Not 19. <laughs> Unless you're from Korea. Rhythmic gymnastics is the specific answer. I was rhythmic gymnast. Gymnastics. <laughs> if it wasn't Brilliant for... Brilliant slip. <laughs> if it wasn't for a sabre fighting, that's what William would do. Have you never seen him twirl a hoop in a played. Was it bar? No, What's no. he played? Fencing. It? Yeah, yeah a sabre is a sword in fencing. You plank. In which sport might you see a Chinaman and a maiden? That's cricket. A Chinaman is a type of... No, ball, Faith, he's just said you ball. can't have it for just gymnastics. And yeah, I mean, I literally just said that. <laughs> oh! um, and the maiden is when. In, yeah, in fencing, it's the only one where you can use the word touche unironically. That is correct. Oh, okay. The Ooh, picture around. Nice. Look at this. So it this is up on the now. Break? Yeah, it is now time for a break. Um, this is the picture round. Please remember that these are landmarks. We're looking for the name of the landmark, not the name of the city. And there is an odd one out. And there is an odd one out. Let us know which well one done, the odd Tammy. one. Tammy and Kyle got eight. Will got six. 
probably he probably got that one. Ah, worryingly, Dale knew rhythmic gymnastics. <laughs> no. <laughs> I bet he did. I can totally imagine Dale flinging a bat on him. Ten, ten for Tequila Mockingbird. Oh, very good. No, Alison, you can't have a half for that. It's just it's, no, you, you can't have a half for gymnastics because gymnastics is like it's just a, a catch-all, isn't it? Yeah, so anyone would guess that. Loads and loads of different things. There's a specific. Oh no, Faith, Faith, and James still got nine. Will got six on his own nine. You can't oh, have nine Dale and a got, half, Alison. Dale got nine on the sport. That's a good effort. Dale got six. The Finns got seven. Well done, Finns. Good effort as well. <laughs> She's got nine. Nine is a really good score. Who, who, I would. I think I've got two. Did someone get ten? Did yeah. You say? Who got ten? Sheena. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. No comments. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait for a special birthday quiz on Saturday. Yeah, it's going to be good. Anyway, um, we're going to have a break so now. Excited. We'll be back in like five minutes. We'll, we'll probably be back in about quarter two, I think. This is going to stay on the screen. Um, and we will be back soon.
Okay, we're on muted pet. <laughs> Great. <clears throat> All right, I've got my cookie stuck in my throat. <laughs> well, you're on camera, <clears throat> so. Oh. Hi. Okay. Um, we're gonna move on. In. I, why am I waiting for you? I just meant like slow it down because. People will just be coming back. All right. Okay. Welcome back. I hope we had a good break. Um, we're going to be moving on. That is the last time that you're going to see the picture round for tonight. Um, and then we will give you the answers after we've finished the next three rounds. So the next round that is coming up is music. So round four, question one is, <laughs> how are we, man? Push the button. Which band had a hit with the song Blue Monday? Can I sing a little bit of the doo doo doos? It may help you. Ah, uh, yes, I told you. What? Will did get rhythmic gymnastics. Ah, oh, no, he ain't. He told loves it. his rhythmic gymnastics, you all right? Um, so, which band had a hit with the song Blue Monday? For those of you who don't know Blue Monday, it's the one that starts off going do 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 do. This is never mind the buzz cut. You'd be terrible at it if that's what it was. We are always bad at that game. We always play when my dad comes over for a dinner party. And you never join in. Just because I don't join in doesn't mean that I'm bad at it. I'd be much better at that than... Which band had hit with the song sure. Blue Monday? So, question two. Is it the right time? Two, really? Two? Right, okay. Question two. Gonna Make You a Star was a 1974, possibly 75, number one for which British artist? I think it was 74. Oh no, honestly, the, the message board, we're out of sync. My mum saying we're out of sync. Uh, not again. I bet it's a microphone. <laughs> Hang on, we'll just address the sync issues. Gives you okay, we should be back now, I think. Can everyone let us know if the sound is okay, please? If it's out of sync, um, just send us a quick message and then we'll try and fix it because it really is irritating. It is out of sync. So when I'm saying, is it no, out of sync and you're saying yes? We're getting thumbs up. All right, okay. thumbs up. I'm assuming it's fine unless anybody says otherwise. So, Gonna Make You a Star was a 1974 number one for which British artist? Question three. Don't that's not working. The button. <laughs> <laughs> Question three. Standing on the edge of forever is the opening line to which take that song? Do you know what the common denominator is for... Um... Don't you dare say anything mean about my questions. It's, I swear it's not, to God. No, no, it's not your questions. I'm not it? downloading it's, anything. It's your singing. As soon as you start singing, I think YouTube goes... <laughs> YouTube goes, whoa, whoa, we can't proceed until we have her on our channel. That's what, what YouTube what, said. What, I don't know. I'm just very... Stuff going on. <laughs> very expressive. <laughs> Don't say hand stuff. <laughs> Start, <laughs> starting on the edge of forever is the opening line to which take that song. Everyone should get this. Everybody looks to that. Gary Barlow. So, question four. Is it the time? Is it the right time to move on? If we're going too fast, just let us know. It's always me that goes too fast. Question four. What was the name of the couple that John Mellencamp sang about in 1982. So that is, what was the name of the couple that John Mellencamp sang about in 1982? This sounds a bit cryptic, but it's not really, because it's just the name of the song. So it's the name of the song that John Mellencamp sang in 1982. Question five. Complete the missing Billy Joel lyrics. This is a bit of a complicated one. I'll leave this on for a while. Yeah. Einstein, James Dean, Brooklyn's got a winning team. Davy Crockett, Peter Pan, Elvis Presley, blank. So that is the lyric that you've got to complete. Interesting fact, right? And actually, it's not even an interesting fact. It's more of a party trick. I know every single word to this song. I'm not going to sing it. Unless, of course, people are saying, come on, sing it. We can't wait to hear your voice. Um, <laughs> I know every, don't I? I know all the words to the song. I'm pretty good. It's interesting, isn't it? Like, how our minds are so different. <laughs> I know, like, no lyrics at all. <laughs> but then I have some actual useful skills. Yeah. You have a good job. <laughs> Make good money. Yes, me sitting about twiddling my thumbs. Um, so complete good. the missing Billy Joel lyrics. Einstein, James Dean, Brooklyn's got a winning team. 
Davy Crockett, Peter Pan, Elvis Presley, blank. Missing lyric. Question six. Which band had a 2006 number one hit with When the Sun Goes Down? I don't know what happened to this band. It's a band you don't really hear about anymore. Have you heard of them recently? They were quite big. Uh, I, I genuinely, right. I don't hear the You don't even know the band, or no, you don't no. care, you're I, not listening. I'd no. actually completely zoned out there. I'm not even sure what I'm thinking about. <laughs> <laughs> I was somewhere else while you, you were trying to work there. out then Billy Joel lyrics, weren't you? No, I genuinely wasn't. I love Question this. six Which band just... had a 2006 <laughs> number one with When the Sun Goes what, Down? What do you think you're doing in my head? I'm just shushing you, it's calming and soothing. If I do a text, I want as a firework. Do you have the number for. Like domestic violence on your phone. <laughs> Question seven. What was Lady Gaga's debut single? You don't, know when I was. Don't, don't tell us what you told us yesterday about this. That was equal. No, no, because that might be a giveaway. Right. Okay. I'm not going to do that. But what I will say is, um, when I was younger, and Lady Gaga was, you know, quite new and all the rage and all that, everybody was questioning whether or not she was a man or a woman. I think it's. Blatantly obvious on Lady Gaga's a woman. I don't know why that was ever in question. No, I mean she has got like she's got kind of manly. Like, yeah, no, she hasn't. She's got, no, she's, she's, she's got. She's got. She's got like a, she's got a long. She's got a long, big head, and she's quite tall herself, and she's got a is low she, voice. Like how tall is she? I don't think she's that tall. I think she's, she's average height. Seventeen foot four. Anyway, taller than Tom we, need, we need to get that uh, that question answered as well. Who's tallest, the tallest, tallest person, person partaking in this quiz? I mean, nobody knows. Do you, do you think it's yourself? Then? <laughs> it's just a guess. It's a guess. Question eight. Who was the lead singer of the Red Hot Chili Peppers? What is the name of the lead singer of the Red Hot Chili Peppers? Again, that's another one. You don't really hear much from them these days. Now, um, last night, me and Duncan were watching some random Lee Evans clips on YouTube. And whilst watching that, we discovered that Lee Evans had actually retired from everything in 2014. Oh, Dan, I'll tell you that. I read that. I read that one. What has this got to do with this question? Well, but that may be why we haven't heard from the Red Hot Chili Peppers. It might just be that they've just thought, you know, enough's enough. Let's go get a job at Saint Greece. I might ask Harry if he'll host the one that's <laughs> there with me. When I was a grown-up, <laughs> I used to use... Question, <laughs> question nine. Name the song. She's got a sister. And God only knows how I've missed her. And on the palm of her hand, there's a blister, and I need more time. I'm not sure they quite pronounce it blister. Blister. <laughs> oh, uh, should I, I read it how they pronounce it? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the arms, that was rank. That was really rank. Blister. <laughs> it is. She's oh, got a sister, and God only knows how I've missed her. <laughs> and <laughs> on the palm of her hand, there's a blister. In a need more time. We didn't oh, include we'll, we'll any. Song for a further eight no, but seconds. what I'm saying is we didn't include any of Dale's um, heavy metal Finnish music. He doesn't listen to Finnish music. You said it was Finnish. No, that was that was Asko. No, you said that the, the band. Oh, Dale one of them. Yeah, Finnish. Insomnium or something, wasn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah Question ten. Last one for the music round is "True or False." Sweet Child of Mine, um, by Guns N' Roses, was actually written in under five minutes. So that is True or False, Sweet Child of Mine by Guns N' Roses was written in five minutes this or is based. This is based it's on what the person who wrote it said. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. So the, no, person, well, the person who wrote it said that it was Yeah, well, one of the writers minutes. said this. So it is based on that. It is, yes. It, true so or False questions could, are also a bit of a gamble, I think, because you always think you well, want to go with the, the obvious one or the, the less obvious you one. do them, they're always a gamble, yeah. Oh, t-shirt for this week. Where's the camera? <laughs> <laughs> so, Lizzie just stood up and walked away from the laptop. <laughs> for Saturday's quiz, this is this week's t-shirt, Clue. Like, wait, why are you and I don't, I don't the know, there's not really a lot of room for me. How fat have I got? It's, I gotta get through this. I gotta make, gotta make some Answers, round four. Which band had a hit with the song Blue Monday? It was New Order. Gonna Make You a Star was a 1974 number one for David Essex. Standing. 
<laughs> on the edge. It was the so food. loud. As well. <laughs> I know it's People will be sat in their living rooms watching this on TV or whatever, sitting on their Again. couches. They'll what? just S H A T themselves. <laughs> what was the name of the couple that John Mellencamp sang about in '82? It was a little ditty about Jack and Diane. No, nope. complete the missing trip, Billy Joel lyrics. It was Disneyland. What was the line? Um, Harry Truman, Doris Day, Red China, Johnny Ray, South Pacific, Walter Winch, and Jordan Maggio. John McCarthy, Richard Nixon, stood the fake with Kelly. I didn't ask for the full song. <laughs> I can't think of it without seeing the, the full song. That's really good. Well done. Well researched. <laughs> Elvis Presley, Disneyland. Okay. Um, Arctic Monkeys sang When the Sun Goes Down. And Lady Gaga's debut single was Just Dance. Now, I thought it was Poker Face. Yeah, we had a really interesting I know. discussion I about really this I really did think it was Poker Face, but it sounds Just Dance. So when well, he said Poker Face, you're wrong. Face. Who was the lead singer of the Red Hot Chili Peppers? It was Anthony Kiedis. Interesting fact. Anthony Kiedis lost his virginity to his stepmother when he was 12. Allegedly. Well, it was in his autobiography. Yeah, I mean, that means now, doesn't it? Well, I think this pretty much is as fact-checked as he can get that one. Not really. I can Name say the song. that I'm the richest man in the world. So the lyrics to that song were from She's Electric by Oasis. She's Oasis. electric. She's in a family full yeah. of eccentrics. No, true or false, it was true. They did. Mm. So basically... Um, according to um, Axel Rose, wasn't it? I'm sure no, it was, it was according to Slash. So, um, so it's probably a lie. No, no. They... So Slash was playing it. He was playing it in a room and he was yeah. playing the riff. And Axel Rose was in the next room and he could hear the riff and yeah, he just jotted right. the lyrics down. Yeah. So, you know, remember, remember well done then. Yeah. They brought an anthem. So they are the answers. Great time. Feel free to chuck us your scores. Oh, they're coming in. Oh, Will, three. Oh, a three. I'm glad we made it a bit harder. Four for the ring, please. Did anybody get the David Essence one? Faith, Faith and James did well. Eight. Really? That means that they got two wrong out of all those. Yeah, we've got four says their pants on music. It sounds a bit weird, but yeah. <laughs> Your dad and Tad only got six. Surprised. I hope they got the David Essex one right. And the Disneyland one. I'd imagine the one that they I'm did I'm sure my dad and Tanya used to sing that David Essex song. I suspect the ones that your dad and Tanya got wrong would be seven, eight. I bet you everybody put poker face for Possibly seven. Possibly six. Ooh, the nerds only got two in this round. Oh, Music is apparently not their forte. Six for Tammy in the pile. With my pen away. Mm. So it's mixed. <laughs> Finns, Finns didn't do very well in that round, I think it's fair to say. What did they get? One. Well, one. Um, some people got two in their face over here. Um, so who who got oh, no, the Lady Gaga has it, one has, right? Has it just said from the last one as well? What does that mean? Does that mean that Lucy's included a question that was in a previous quiz? I hope so, because we've had a good chat about this as well. Yeah. Let us know if that's the case, please. Anyway. Um, he means from the last round, man. Last round? Why? I'll give you his answers from the last round. I don't know what you're talking about. Anyway, well, every, I think five. everyone got decent scores there, considering that's right, I made it really me. History and geography. This one is a bit of a mix. This is probably the Standing. toughest. Stop, stop, stop. stop. I think this is probably the toughest in um, the quiz. So let's go. Let's do it. That's not a particularly difficult opening question. What is the capital of Sweden? Right. I'm actually now forgetting what I put in for this. No, interesting fact. The only reason I know this answer is because of friends. Mm, that is that is interesting. I think so. Oh, all right. So as I said, the last question, oh, with it being a true or a false, it was like a 50-50 until he says that's why they got one. I know, it was a terrible round. I do it really wasn't. I don't know anything about Finnish music. Oh my god, it's Duncan. Uh, what was question one there? I've Something about oh, yeah, Sweden. Oh, yeah, yeah. So that was a bit fast. Question two, I'll leave this one on for a little bit longer, I promise. Who was the god of the sun in Egyptian mythology? Difficult to do an anagram for this one. I got it completely wrong. I, I was in the yeah, wrong mythology remember, for do, starters. Do you remember what your answer was? <laughs> yes. But so, I don't want to say it because I bet a lot of people put what I put. I, well, I don't mean I just told you how, how long the word was. Then, That's what I, I put. Yeah, I know. I remember. 
Who was the god of the sun in Egyptian mythology? Question three. What is the UK's highest mountain? I don't know if I've ever been up a mountain. Have you? You're not listening. That's because I mean what as I just said. Can I hear me no Rakistan? Yeah. I of course I of course I can say that for you in, in Swedish. Uh Jagel Is that gonna is that some kind of insult? Jagel Skade. That means I love you. Mean to I'm me, I'm happy. Hands, you know. Means I hate you. No. I've heard that more than the first. Okay. <laughs> that one's swearing. Um Jag Elskade. That's Swedish. For I love you. Nobody wants Jag to listen to this. Nobody wants to listen to this. That's I hate you in Swedish. Remember when we went what to Greece and I was speaking in Greek? The Jordan UK's Jordan. highest mountain. Do, Question do, four. Do, 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 Apart from Russia, name a country that was formerly part of the USSR. Been away so long, I hardly you know what the USSR the sounds for? G O, it's good to be back home. Um, that's the song. The song. <laughs> back in the USSR. Is it? I can't even remember. United? The United Soviet State Republic or something. Uh, honestly, I can't tell. Apart from Russia, I bet you. a country. People know though. There was formerly part. I of bet me, Dad, can I get this one? I feel like I think most there's a lot of conspiracy there's, there's theories one, based in the USSR. <laughs> there's one that's um, quite obvious. Some of the more extreme ones are a bit difficult. What? I was con- contemplating asking people to name two for this question, but then two's a little bit harder. I didn't get any. No. no, I didn't. Question five. Name the capitals of all three Baltic states. No, I didn't even different. know what a Baltic state was. Like, so what's a Baltic that's why, state? That's why it's... A, well, I'm not going to tell you. I'm not going to give you the answer. That's why Nobody's it's a get this. tough question. I guarantee at least... Four people will get this. Four people or four teams? The Wrinkleys, my sister, well, my sister, geography's not a strong suit. Watch her, I've got a phone with her. <laughs> Lucy! Don't say that. Um, I reckon the Finns will get this. I reckon the Finns will get it. And I reckon... Um, I think what you'll find William's is Dez and Sheena's floor tonight is they don't have Phoebe. I don't think Phoebe knows the answer. I, this know, but I think Phoebe did get Name a lot of, a lot the of random answers. Right. Capitals of all three Baltic states. I don't know what a Baltic state is, and I'm not ashamed to admit. Question six: What title was given to the rulers of ancient Egypt? Okay. You didn't get this one. I didn't get this one. Don't, I, will you stop giving like fake answers? It wasn't. It was. If you're a, give a fake it answer, was a cryptic you've got, clue. You've got, to, you've got to give an answer that's completely wrong, like given. It, Boy zone is the answer to this question. It was a cryptic clue. What title was given to the rulers of ancient Egypt? Question seven. Air Force One is a plane used by the holder of what position? I've just remembered this week's round is not that difficult. <laughs> well, I think I would have got two questions right when I'm doing them in my head. You, so got, you got seven. No, I didn't. You know, no, I didn't. On this one. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Seriously. Are you serious? No, I didn't. Air Force One is a plane used by the holder right. from what position? Question eight. Definitely didn't get it. Definitely didn't get it. <laughs> the terms of peace at the end of World War One were signed at which French landmark? If you know the name of the terms, you can probably guess the answer. Or if you're a history teacher. You can have a half mark if you guess the kind of location of the city, isn't it? Yeah. Um, but not the exact name of the building. Yeah, I wouldn't have even been able to have a wild, a wild guess. Yeah, I, know, but I mean, like, the only French landmark I know is the Eiffel Tower. Um, you're generally not good at quizzes, as we've discussed. Before. No, I'm good at some quizzes. Some eight, Harry Potter quizzes. The I'm terms really good at. of peace at the end of World War One were signed at which French landmark? Question 
Question nine. Which country gave the Statue of Liberty as a gift to the United States of America? Tammy says Kyle is doing really well. Good. Good, good, good. Which country gave the Statue of Liberty as a gift to the United States of America? You got this one right as well? I'm telling you. Yeah, but I one. think everybody would get this one right. I don't... I, I, I would have before knowledge. I went to New York. Really? Hmm? You would never have got this right before you went... Really? Jenny, we didn't know? No. I wonder where I learned it then. Because I knew it before you went to New I think, York. No, I'm pretty sure I told you. No, you didn't. Question 10. What continent is got India on, right? on? But it was just a bit of a, a random punt, to be honest. So, yeah, this is uh, this is probably a little bit too easy. I think next time we'll make this one a little well, bit Well, no, because next time is Des is... Yeah, no, but it's, we're still going to have actual normal questions in there. Yeah, as long as they've got the word they Desi. <laughs> they're, not, they're not all going to be quiz uh, Des themed. Please, please do not, not come. Um. It's not like Des's personal interests. It's not like we're asking questions that only Sheena can get. It's just things that sound like Des. What the desert sit on? That's <laughs> our <laughs> book. I know. You don't need to explain it to me, Lucy. And saying that's that book doesn't explain it to anyone else. <laughs> Stockholm is the capital of Sweden. And also the syndrome I have. <laughs> that's the funniest thing you've ever said. <laughs> and I fully agree. <laughs> Who was the god of the sun in Egyptian mythology? That was Ra. UK's highest mountain is Ben Nevis. Um, okay, the countries that you could have had that were formerly part of the USSR are Georgia, Ukraine, Moldova, Belarus, Armenia, Azerbaijan, Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, Turkmenistan, Kyrgyzstan, and is it Tajikistan? Anything ending in a stan, and you can just... Oh, like Pakistan. Well done. He's that's Pakistan. Not correct. Oh, that's <laughs> Lee Evans' joke. I'm <laughs> sorry. Made stop, up his stuff. Stop, stop. <laughs> Dear me. Uh, okay, capital uh, capitals of the three Baltic states. That is Tallinn, Riga, and uh, Vilnius. And the Baltic states are, of course, um, Lithuania, Latvia, and Estonia. What makes them Baltic? Mm. <laughs> Don't think it for enough. You wrote the <laughs> so, question. You so, should so, know so the answer. The Baltic sea. Nestled together on the Baltic Sea. There you go. I knew that. I knew that. You see, um, Pharaoh is the title given to the rulers of ancient Egypt. That's why I said it was also like a Air came Force from Force One is a plane used by the President of the United States. The terms of peace at the end of World War One were signed at the Palace of Versailles. Um, if you get Versailles in the Treaty of Versailles, then you can have half a point for Versailles on its own, um, or Palace of Versailles um, is one point. France gave the Statue of Liberty as a gift to the United States, and India is in Asia. Um, should we crack straight on? We should. I think we should. We're doing a good time tonight. Yeah, so round six. It's film and TV, so it's in that me round. So I do apologise um, if the questions oh, are know, too before, awesome. Before we start kicking off, what scores do people get? Oh, I don't know. Let's, let's see. Let's take a look at the, at the Winkley's, screens. Winkley's got 10. 8.5 for Dad and Tanya. So that's the itchy. Six. Five for me, Mum, on her own. William got 10. 10 for William. More than well. I and think I, 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 I would have got about two or three. So like, I told, I think it's a really you got hard seven. You literally got seven. I didn't have a clue about half of them. Oh, Seriously. 10 um, is excellent. I told you William would get the three bollock states as well, didn't I? Finn got eight. Well done. Um, Hazard, did you get um, did you get the Baltic states? I'd imagine you do because you actually drive to um, Estonia, don't you, to buy alcohol? Seven I'm and a half for, for Tammy and Kyle. God, did Kyle get seven and a half? Or did Tammy, did Tammy, did you do any of them? Or did Kyle do them on his own? Because Tammy said Kyle was doing really well, implying that Kyle was answering all the questions. And if so, that's amazing because I... I didn't get seven. I know you keep saying I did, but I didn't. You literally did. I didn't. I didn't. Stupid discussion. Yeah, I, I, I don't even know what a Baltic state is. Yeah, you obviously didn't get that one. You did get seven. All right. I don't think anyway, I don't think do your questions. This is my kind of round. Right, so next round is film and TV. Whoops. Right, so question one. 
Which beloved children's character, or should I say, beloved children's character, Samuel Peyton Jones, is better known by which name? So that is a children's character on TV. You got this wrong because you thought it was something else. What did you think this was again? You said something. You went, oh, is that something to do with Riverdale? Oh, that's wrong. Question one. Beloved children's character, Samuel Peyton Jones, is better known by which name? I want to give a clue, but I feel like I shouldn't because I feel like people might, it might be obvious to some people and not obvious to others. Should I give a clue? Uh, you can say it's a TV series. That's not what I was going to say. That's not the clue I was going to give. It's a TV. This is TV my, my round for filming TV goes TV, movie, TV, movie. So yeah, it's a TV series. It's a TV series. And there is visit. films, but it's primarily a TV series. Question two. In Star Wars, who cut off Anakin Skywalker's arm and legs? So it is the person Meow. who... It's a light table noise. It, is a, it sounds like a car on the Paw Patrol <laughs> racing movie. <laughs> in Star Wars, who cut off Anakin Skywalker's arm and legs? Now, you know, if you want to be technical about it, someone kind of half cut his arm off, but that person doesn't count. It's the person who actually severed the arm and cut off his arm and legs in one very, very snazzy move in a very bad angle for Anakin when he was jumping. So who did it? That's your question two. Can I move on? Yes. On the clock on the TV. Question mm. three. What is the name of the biker gang in Riverdale? Notice the t-shirt symbol because it was last week's t-shirt clue. I know we're not going to mention it all the time, but I, I feel like no, but Karen and Dale have only been in for one week of t-shirt clues. So I think it might be fair. Yep. Yeah, well, um, it was plus, last week when we explained it. Plus Adele. Adele. Adele doesn't know what a t-shirt clue is. Okay, fair enough. So last week I was wearing Good a t-shirt that had a clue on to this question. Every week we wear a t-shirt that has a clue on to the following yeah, question. So explaining it now is not much help to Adele, though, is it? It helps if she joins us on Saturday. Because <laughs> okay. then she'll pay attention to my t-shirt. Right. So what is the name of the biker gang in Riverdale? This is a bad question. You're a bad question. Question four. No, I'm, a, I'm a bad choice. <laughs> Which actor plays Rubius Hagrid in the Harry Potter movies? Now, we did the Harry Potter tour for my 30th tour. birthday tour. Now, I know, for those of you who don't know me, I don't look 30. No, you're I'm actually a little older. Older. No, I don't look like I'm quite 30 yet. Um, but for my 30th birthday, we did go on the Harry Potter tour, didn't we? And do, you, do you look in a different mirror? We actually found out the way me. that they made Hagrid bigger than everybody else. And it was, it was, it was fascinating. Fascinating, the facts that you find out on that tour. And because dumping... So money. Yeah, no, you sprung for the private tour. There was people on, like, a normal tour that with school and children and stuff. And this woman was with us going, move along, I'm on a private <laughs> tour. Move away from the exhibit. It's worth it just for <laughs> You know, we felt so important. Question five. Patsy Palmer and Sid Owen played which famous Walford Lovebirds? This is going to be another zero round for the Finns, isn't it? Well, Sorry. Uh, you. Sorry, you Finns. Didn't get it. Sorry, no, I need that. You kept going, I know it, I know it. Oh, I, was, I mean, I was in the middle of going upstairs. I, mm. I can't be doing those. Patsy <laughs> Palmer and Sid Owen are um, famous for playing which Walford lovebirds? Um, to make it clear, they're from East Standards. Like, I wasn't trying to make it secret they were from East Standards. I was trying to word the, the clue in a clever way. So they're from a, a British soap opera called East Standards. Question six. What is the name of the dinosaur in the Toy Story movies? Rawr. A numb foot. So question six is, what is the name of the dinosaur in the Toy Story movies? Now, if anybody wants me to send them the homemade version of Thomas and the Dinosaurs that I did today whilst trying to entertain Harry and failing miserably, just PM me and I'll send you the, I'll send you the link. It was good, wasn't it? No? No. Question seven. Enter the newbies is an anagram of which UK coming of age sitcom? So I'll leave this on a little bit longer than the rest because it is quite complicated. Enter the newbies is an anagram of which UK coming of age sitcom? So we'll give you a few seconds to have a look at that. Um, it's a good show. We like this show, don't we? You yes. don't know the answer. You don't know the no, answer. No, I do. I do. You have hair on your eye. Same hair. <laughs> on my eye? Yeah. Gosh. 
Are you wearing makeup? A little bit. Just some glare. I should prove. Look what came off my finger when I wiped his eye. Eyeliner. I mean, you've got a black pen in your hand. <laughs> I think you can take an educated guess where you the black pen came from. I haven't been doing this, from. have I? Everyone saw me wipe Listen, your eye. You've, you've literally got Quite to show. <laughs> put that there. So you can see a marker there. That always happens when I hold there. a pen and I don't see know why. There. But it's definitely me wearing makeup. <laughs> Question it. I am serious and don't call me Shirley. It's Great a famous God. line from which 1980 comedy movie? This is such See, we could do film. with... One of the funniest films of all time. No, but what we could do with From Your Finnish Friends is some things that are English or popular in England and America that are also popular in England. Uh, Finland, sorry. Because when I googled shows that were popular in Finland, they were all Finnish. Well, they do watch quite a bit of, um, like, what I would consider international TV. Such as? Game of Thrones and stuff like that. Okay. Actually, I didn't have to watch Game of Thrones specifically, but that's, a, you know, that's an example of the kind of stuff that they watch. Well, they don't just as exclusively Google. watch Finnish um, stuff. I am serious and don't call me Shirley is a famous line from which 1980 comedy movie? Moving on. Question nine. Which actor played Rodney Trotter in Only Fools and... Really? Why, 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 why would they? Oh, wait a minute, you're not going to get this one. Oh, no, I know the answer. Oh, I don't. Do I, actually? Yes, yeah, I do. What's his name, Whisper? Write it on your hand. On the paper. Which actor played Rodney Trotter in Only Fools and Horses? What? I don't know. No, that's, that's wrong. Who is that? What, what else is he in? <laughs> Question 10. <laughs> Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. Is an iconic line from which famous movie? Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. Is an iconic line from which famous movie? Oh, and Claire yeah. wants an ancient uh, history rant. Yeah, I've messed that up. Yeah, that's, yeah. Okay. It's because I got the surname. It was, uh, you know, it's the surname was like nearly right. No. And then I've confused myself. No. Right, so that's all 10 questions for film and TV. Um, no. Right, right so. Oh, yeah. we'll look, <laughs> as I says, I know less Finnish films and TV than international. So the problem is that you just keep doing stuff that's not international. Well, I, I did last week because I Googled the, the top how many TV shows in the world. And Peaky Blinders came up. Yeah, so Peaky that's so that's you've done that for one question. Yeah, but then and if the I do the more international, then I rule out people who are over here as well. So it's got to be mixed. Beloved children's character. No sense at all. This is going to be international. Everyone's going to get this. Means. Everyone's going to get this. Beloved children's character. This is de this is definitely. Oh my not god! Stop talking. But this is definitely not international. Stop I'll bet you the house that the uh, the Finns don't get this right. I don't. I don't think many people get this right. I was only joking when I said everybody. Oh, is that good? Just. Crack Beloved children's out. character Samuel Peyton Jones is better known by which name? It's Fireman Sack. In Star Wars, who cuts off Anakin Skywalker's arm and legs? Everybody should get this yeah, for a Star a, Wars fan. That's, that's in national. Question, it was Obi Wan Kenobi. I got that wrong. Um, it was Count Dooku who cut off like a bit of Anakin's arm, so it was kind of severed a bit. But then it was a, you know, a lightsaber fight, and he spun round, and Obi Wan got the rest. So, what is the name of the no, biker gang? No one's got this. In like Riverdale. Maybe, maybe. Well, you should if you were paying attention last week. You should get this right if you were paying attention. Whoa. Because I literally had it written on my t shirt. It was the South Side Servants. It was written across my top. Oh, like Which actor plays Rubius Hagrid in the Harry Potter movies? Is Robbie Coltrane, um, also famous for Cracker. Patsy Palmer and Sid Owen played which famous Walford Lovebirds? Bianca and Ricky. Hmm, Ricky. What is the name of the dinosaur in Toy Story? It's Rex. End of the Newbies. It's an anagram of which UK coming of age sitcom? It's the In Between Us or Barack Abar, as I've got written on here. <laughs> <laughs> That's boring. <laughs> well done, Lucy. That's very good. It is the In Between Us. It's the in between us. <laughs> if you have written Barack Obama, you can also have a point for that. <laughs> oh, Lucy, this is tragic. No. <laughs> oh, all right. I am seriously, mistakes. I am seriously hoping that the rest oh, of these no. are right. 
It's because you copy and paste the answer. I am serious and don't call me Shirley is a famous line from which name? Barack Obama. It's not a thing I've ever seen. Oh, thank God. It's airplane. Which actor (laughs) played... Crap. Can we change the title of the title? You can change it to what you want, Tracy. Um, Unless you want to spell... Oh, never mind. Which actor played Rodney Trotter in Only Fools? It was Nicholas Lindhurst. (laughs) <laughs> Barack Obama <laughs> I don't understand how that's just that one <laughs> random one that's <laughs> snuck in there frankly my dear I don't give a damn is from Gone with the Wind sure? it's not from Barack Obama <laughs> Barack Obama <laughs> let us know your scores please <laughs> he's not an anagram of being between us <laughs> <laughs> you blank <blank. laughs> <laughs> oh, <I'm just> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I bet uh, yeah, it's got eight. I was going to say loads of Did you get the Barack Obama one? <laughs> <laughs> Did oh, anyone God. actually write Barack Obama? Dan, Tanya, nine. Tracy and family, nine. Tammy and Kyle, eight. My mum on her own, eight. Well done. Faith and Will only got six. Faith and Will aren't playing together. Yeah, I know. I meant them in separate groups. They both, they both got six. It's because um, of the, the... I'm curious to know which ones they got wrong. I thought the in-between us one was quite hard. Well, it is when the answer is Barrack of <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look, and the Finn's got one. You've done really well there. He's look, really inclusive. Look. Well done. I made it as inclusive as I could. I'm sorry, Finn's. If... She doesn't, by the way. All she does, all she literally does is goes online, finds stuff that's interesting to her and puts that on. Let everyone else be damned. <laughs> right, anyway. Here are the answers I'm not even remotely interested. The... He sent us Coronation Street or Emmerdale, so... You spend half your life watching Emmerdale. I anyway, have never in my life seen an episode of Emmerdale. That's a total lie. Um, here is the answer to the picture round. Leaning Tower of Pisa, Hogwarts, Kremlin, Great Wall of China, Taj Mahal, Sydney Opera House, Machu Picchu, Christ the Redeemer, Ground Zero. Uh, for Ground Zero, we will you give can you... You can put the World Trade. I yeah, think. World Trade or Twin Towers, yeah. And St. Peter's Basilica. You can also put Vatican City for that. that. odd one out there is Hogwarts, obviously, because it is not real. Interesting fact. So there's 11 points <laughs> available there. Let us know how um, you've done on that round. If you... Oh, 11. Who's that from? From the Ringleys. So St. Peter's Basilica, which is in Vatican City. Vatican is the world's smallest country. Yep. Did we look this up, by the way? Because I'm did, sure it's I looked it up. No, no, um, it's, in, it's the smallest country. And it's surrounded by a two-mile border, which... um breaks then in Italy. Also it's a city state. It's a city. It's still classed as the world's smallest country. Um, um do I have any other interesting facts? Hogwarts, you know, the actual outside of the building is a small scale model. The inside of the building was filmed between Anna Castle and Durham Cathedral. I, sorry, I wasn't listening. I was just giving them some interesting facts. Oh, right, okay. Um, Nade's got 11 in the picture. Uh, Great well. Wall of China. Um, my friend was proposed to on the Great Wall of China. That's an interesting fact about that. Do you think we made this one a little bit too easy? Well, I thought Ground Zero was in Peter's Basilica and Hogwarts and the Kremlin were no, quite No, Hog- Hogwarts is just specific. I don't think it's hard. As such no, but it, like, yeah. it's, it's hard in the sense that if you don't know, you're never going to know. Finn's got eight. Decent effort. So um, remember, on Saturday, we will have the same amount of rounds. It'll start with a picture round, and it won't just be pictures of Dez's face. Um, <laughs> it is Dez's 40th birthday, so it will be um, his birthday special quiz. But that does not mean that the questions will be Dez specific It will just be questions that are, you know, around 1980, 40, things like that. So they, they will still be the same generic questions, but we will be wearing... Dare's masks and there'll be happy birthday banners and we'll be drinking Stella and everything will be great and it'll basically be a quiz party for everybody and happy birthday Dez. That's what I say. He was meant to be in Vegas. In, yes. He's in the house doing it's a, a bit, quiz bit with bit us. Bit so bit, I think uh, I think it's it's fair enough that we, we splurge in and make it a bit exciting. I'm sure you'll get to Vegas at some point. Yeah, it'll just be postponed. But the fact is we want to make it special now. So everybody, you know, get your drinks for, for Saturday night and... Uh, Get some snacks and happy birthday banners and we'll all we'll all sing happy birthday to Dez. 
on Saturday, even though you can only see us two, so it'll just be me singing we'll, we'll and Duncan enough. won't join in. I'll meet do everyone a favour. Um so the winners again <laughs> are Tequila Mockingbird. Des is Tina and Des. Yeah. We've got some good scores this week though, forty nine for Dell and Karen, that's a really good score. Um I think second place this week was Faith and James with sixty two. That's a really good effort. Fifty eight mm-hmm. and a half from Tracy and her team. Yeah, some great scores. No, no low scores at all actually this week. I think I think we maybe do need to make it a little bit more. No, not for not for Saturday. We'll make it challenging. No, because it, it can still be it can still be a little bit challenging until he does his like party quiz. It's not that fun if it's too easy. I mean, sixty three out of seventy one. I don't know when I do a quiz, I get a question right. I'm like, yes. Yeah, but as we've discussed on a number of occasions, you are not the bar here. <laughs> you would have got twenty four on that quiz, and seven of those would have come from the round that you claim you got one. Anyway, <laughs> um, moving on, we will be back at 8 p.m. on Saturday, so please join us then if you are able. We've got another kind of five or six teams, I think, joining us on Saturday. Yeah, it's going to be a full house on Saturday, I then. think. Everybody yeah. says that they're going to be doing it, and even people who've never done it before are coming on Saturday, so it is going to be very busy for Des's birthday bonanza quiz. Um, Adele says it has been super. Thanks, Ooh. Adele. You're more than welcome to join us on Saturday if you are free. Um, yeah, so that's all, folks. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Good night.